Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is an easy foam board or cardboard project. This is how to make an Indian Sikh dagger. And you know what they say when they when they saw these daggers? The daggers are curved. They're curved daggers. <laughs> um, I give you everything you need practically to make this project in the template, right? I give you all the shapes that you can print this up, cut it out, and uh, use it to make yours. And I even give you the ornamental design work. So you can cut this out and glue it onto your sheath and your dagger handle. So, see, there's the sheath and the handle. So, make it real easy for you to have yourself your own dagger. That's right. Um, if you watched my last video, that's the one where I went to India and I bought a, bought a few different things. And I, there's just a little bit of footage of India, but that's this dagger that I bought. So, I use this to make the same size and shape and everything. Just like that. There you go. And I'll have more of this. I'm going to be forging one of these. That'll be an interesting video too. All right, let's, um, thanks for watching my video. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If you're not, hit that button wherever it may be. Always fun, interesting, and creative stuff. Uh, let's launch into the intro and then let's do how to make an Indian curved Sikh, S-I-K-H, dagger. Thank you. All right, to get this, to make this project, to have the pieces fit together well, like the handle and the knife and the blade and the sheath, I actually use my light box to match them up, to draw them the same size. That's a fun project if you want to make a light box really cheap, but that really works well. See, I'm using mine. So, but let's move on to the project. First thing you do is print up the template. All the pieces are there, and you don't have to cut the pieces out. What you can do is lay the sheets on your foam board and then press down hard with a pencil and that leaves a, a, a mark in the foam board and that, then you can remove the sheet and then go over the mark like this with a pencil to give you all your pieces. So you trace out all the pieces like that. The most difficult one being this spacer here. So that one's a little bit tricky. But then cut all the pieces out. Now, quick tip on cutting foam board. Three passes. The first pass, you just cut through the top sheet of paper. The second pass right here, you cut through the foam. And then the third pass, you press all the way through and cut through the bottom sheet of paper. That's the easy way to cut foam board. Now, let's put it together. Take one of the sheath pieces, carefully put some glue on the edges like that, and then put the spacer on. Don't use a whole lot of glue. You don't want the glue to get inside the sheath. And then you glue on the top piece, the other and the other side of the sheath. And now what happens is, see now you have a little gap there. That's where the knife is going to go in there. Then now let's now the knife. You glue a handle piece on like this. You flip it over and you glue another handle piece on the other side. Really a simple project. You can do this project in probably like an hour. Maybe less. And I give you everything you need. You just need some, you know, glue and foam board and a printer to print up the template. There you go. That's the knife. Now, test it. Put the knife in the sheath and make sure it fits. You can trim things if it doesn't quite fit right, depending on how you cut it. Like, you can trim the little bit of the edges there to get it to fit right. It's quite okay. Don't force it. And once that's once you got it fitting right, now we sand it all nice and smooth. Not the top surfaces, but just the edges and the cut edges. So they all kind of match. So now the band around the sheath that's in the template, you cut you cut out that piece, trace it on the foam board, and then cut it in half like that so it's thinner. And then you're going to glue it on the knife like this and only glue it to the sheath. You don't want to glue it to the handle or else the knife won't come apart. You see what I'm saying? So wrap it around and then cut it to fit your knife. Trim it on the edge there, right there where my left thumb is. Trim it right there to get it to fit right and then glue it on. Now the ornaments. And I give you these, makes it easy for you. Cut out those four ornament, ornamental pieces. And then glue them on. You glue the pieces onto the um, knife sheath, and they're plenty large, so what, what you do is you trim them. 
once the glue is set, then you trim them. And I use glue stick. If you have glue stick, use that. That's best for this. White glue will be fine, but... And then, you know, trim it. Trim it at the end there, where the opening of the sheath is. And also trim it <clears throat> along the sides, just to get it to fit nice and to look good. And you know, you don't have to use the ornaments that I give you. Make up your own if you want. And do the same thing on the handle. A little bit of glue stick. Nice even coat. Put the ornament on there. Then trim it to fit. All the way around. So now, now the band around the sheath. A little bit of silver paint. If you have silver paint. If you don't have silver paint, um, you can use a light gray. It looks pretty good too. Hey, what the heck? You can do any color you want, actually. But, you know, silver is metal. So, you paint the band. And you paint the blade. Now, while the blade is wet, make sure you flip it over and paint the other side or else the foam will curve. So you put an even coat on both sides and the foam board will stay nice and straight. So now here's something I recommend you do is brighten up the colors a bit in this. The template's a little dull and I wanted it brighter. So use a pen to draw in lines like this and use a red pencil if you have one to deepen the colors. It just looks better. I, I like it better with a little bit richer color to it, both on the handle and on the sheet. And that's it. It's, you're done. Do some detail work that you like, and you've got yourself a sick dagger. Sick dagger. Uh, thanks for watching. Lots more stuff on my website at strongthecastle.com and here on my YouTube channel. This is one of my easier projects. It's a lot of fun. Here's a couple more. Ruby's na dagger from Supernatural up top. And down below, a foam board knife that looks like a real knife, a sub-hilt knife. Thank you. You know, it's the strangest thing. I, I had a goal when I went to India. I, um, I don't really talk much about that, but while I was at the Taj Mahal, um, I found a single earring just lying on the ground. I picked it up, I took it home, and I have it with me. It's actually in this video somewhere. Let me know if you find it. Uh, it's kind of like, to me, it's kind of like a glass slipper. A mystery abounds. Who's <laughs> that was?